Scuba diving is becoming an extremely popular pastime in Taiwan. But for people with disabilities, access to the sport can be very difficult. This summer, 20 people with various disabilities took part in a special diving summer school with the goal of eventually being able to go out in the open ocean. Their training required all kinds of special measures to help each diver overcome the challenges of their particular condition. Let's take a look at how they did it. Our Sunday special report. Taichung Diving Club. 20 new students from across Taiwan have gathered at the side of the pool. All of them have moderate or severe physical disabilities. On land, many of the students are unable to run around. But in this five-day diving course, designed especially for the group, the instructors hope to turn them into the mythical sea serpents of Chinese lore. First, they must jump into the 21-meter deep pool. For 33-year-old Wang Yiting, who is paraplegic, just getting the diving gear on is a challenge. Because of an injury to her spinal cord, Wang is unable to carry the diving equipment, which weighs almost 20 kilos. A diving instructor and teaching assistant have to carry it for her by her side. Paralyzed from the waist down, Wang's legs are bound together and weighed down with lead to allow her to descend steadily. Firstly, we look at whether her legs will drift about. We adjust her bob weight so that her legs weigh the same and hang down. As soon as they hang down, then she can get balanced. With her legs weighed down, Wang uses her hands to swim forward. Then she has to learn to use her breath to move up and down in the water. Sometimes she sinks down and can't float back up, or she drifts about, unable to stabilize herself. I was down there for ages trying to find my balance. Maybe it's because I can't move my body, my waist. So I was always wobbling around. Back in the sixth grade, a fall from a third floor balcony paralyzed her lower body. And since then, she's been unable to stand unaided. At the age of 14, a chance opportunity led her to become a wheelchair goodwill ambassador. She started to get out of the house more and to meet lots of new people, regaining her confidence. Since then, she's tried paragliding and even taken part in a marathon. She wants to experience swimming beneath the surface of the ocean. But many diving schools are unwilling to take on a student with disabilities. As soon as they hear I use a wheelchair, or even that I'm paraplegic, they start saying, but what about this, but what about that, but you can't move your legs. As soon as I hear the word but, I say to them, thanks, never mind. Her diving dreams seem hard to realize, until she got a helping hand from the League for Persons with Disabilities. For people with decreased mobility, the buoyancy of the water provides the power to stretch out all of their limbs freely. In this underwater world, they can move their whole bodies easily. The instructors have even picked out budding new teachers from the former students of the program. Most ordinary diving schools would reject them. So I thought if I as a student got an instructor's license, I could teach other people who love to dive and, like me, have mobility issues. Yu Shuqi is one student who successfully advanced to the status of diving instructor's assistant. She wants to use her own successful experience to help more people with disabilities fall in love with life underwater. I think many of them are confined at home, or at least they live in a very limited environment. I want to enable them to widen their horizons, because, for example, when we dive, the real first-person experience feels very different to how it looks on TV. After the course is over, the students go on to an even more exciting challenge, the deep blue sea. Unlike a calm and tranquil indoor swimming pool, the ocean is fickle and treacherous. Wong has to really apply herself to the task of swimming. But finally, she discovers that leisurely, carefree feeling she's been longing for. The waves make you bob along like this. Actually, it feels very dynamic. And we drift with the sea currents. Then your body starts to adjust, your breathing and your balance. So when you're on land, you feel it's more of a struggle. Back in the water, it's like you get your energy back. The students gradually master following the currents and keeping their balance. 
Then they can start to really enjoy the even greater buoyancy of the ocean and the ease it offers. They're completely freed from the physical restrictions they feel on land, moving nimbly in the water. On land, these divers may be disabled, but underwater they're liberated. Embraced by the vast blue ocean, they move as freely and easily as they wish.